Hi everybody, welcome to my kitchen. I'm Rachel, your host of The Working Girl's Guide. And today, as requested by the fans, I am gonna walk you through my Whole30 approved breakfast burrito. It is a cinch to make, and you'll have it ready for breakfast tomorrow. So let's get started. I have a pan here already over low heat that I'm gonna put two tablespoons of avocado oil in. So just a little drizzle in your pan. Again, I eyeball it. Give this a little swirl, make it look fancy. And then we're adding in a half a cup of cubed sweet potato and a half a cup of bell pepper. This is the tri-colored bell pepper menage a trois from Trader Joe's that you can buy in the frozen section. And we get it over low heat to start so that the water from these veggies doesn't splatter and burn us. And then we're gonna turn it up to medium heat. So we'll let that get going. We want a single layer in the pan. Okay. We're gonna let that sit and we're gonna prep our spinach and our sausage. So the recipe online technically calls for a pre-cooked slice of bacon. Um, I didn't have any bacon ready to go on hand, so I'm gonna substitute a sausage, but we will get our spinach ready first. So I have a half a cup of spinach that I'm just doing a rough chop just to make it break down a little bit easier in the pan. Easy there. You could also use kale if you have that. And then I'm gonna use one Applegate Whole30 approved breakfast sausage. These are ready to go and pre-cooked, so I am just gonna chop it to make it a little bit easier to eat in the breakfast burrito. All right, so we've got these ready. Let's check on the veggies. All right. So these have now been brought out of their frozen state. Give them a little mix. Takes hardly any time at all to come together. Okay. We'll give these another minute or two while we get our actual burrito prepped. So I talked in the recipe about how I actually wrap these. So what I'm using today is Thrive Market coconut wraps. The ingredients are coconut meat, coconut water, and coconut oil. That's it. So these are Whole30, paleo, keto friendly, um, and I think they taste delicious. So I'm gonna lay out a piece of tin foil here. If you're not gonna eat this immediately, you can also use parchment paper, but you might have to use a little tape to keep it closed. And then I'm gonna take one wrap. I let this come to room temperature so it's easy to handle and get it right in the middle. We're all gonna channel our inner Chipotle today. All right, back to the stove. So these veggies have been going for about three minutes. Again, they're all pretty small. So now we're just gonna add in our greens and our sausage. Okay. Now for seasoning, I like to do salt, pepper, and my favorite, everything but the bagel. If this is not in your kitchen, run to Trader Joe's immediately. I will promise you will not regret it. Okay. So we're gonna give this a quick stir. It already smells so tasty. You'll see that spinach is wilting down very quickly. Our sweet potatoes just about cooked through. And now we're gonna season. So I like to do a generous sprinkle of all three of these to taste. Got my salt. Got my pepper. And everything but the bagel. And if you've never had this before, it is sesame seeds, salt flakes, garlic, onion, black sesame seeds, and poppy seeds. So really limited ingredient, just some extra flavor for you. Give this another stir. All right, looking good. Okay. Now, for the sake of time, I already pre-cooked a couple scrambled eggs. So what I'm gonna do is get this in the pan onto the wrap, about in the middle. We're gonna make an even row. Again, we're channeling our inner Chipotle. I think this is how they would do it. And then we are going to add two scrambled eggs. So I've already cooked these just for the sake of time. I'm just gonna add them right on to the veggie mix. Now here's where the magic really happens. 
We are gonna wrap this like you would wrap a taquito, not necessarily a burrito because we will not fold the ends of a coconut wrap in on itself. We are just gonna roll it all the way down and around. Bring it to the edge here. Oh, lost a little bit. It's all right, a little snack for now and save this for later. Then we start rolling the tin foil. So this is where you're gonna wrap the edges to keep everything in, including while you eat it. So when I eat this, I actually cut it down the middle and then peel the foil away. So I'll show you what this looks like. All right, take a look at that. You got your serving of protein, veggies, fiber, greens, a little bit of good fat, and it's delicious. So this will be ready to go for my breakfast tomorrow. And if you are gonna reheat it, it only takes about a minute in the microwave. I promise you're gonna love this. Thank you for spending some time with me tonight. Have a great week and I'll see you next time.